a lot of people feed the birds as a relaxing recreation or as a way to help out the wildlife in their area. It can be really fun to feed the pigeons at a park or the ducks at a pond. On the surface, feeding bread to birds seems completely harmless, but it's actually not as innocent as you might think. If you're new here, hi, I'm Izzy. I make videos about pigeons and I also happen to have a pet pigeon myself. She might join us a little bit later. She's out of her cage right now, kind of roaming around the room. If you aren't new here, you might hear a little bit of a difference in my audio. I just got a new mic. If you notice a difference, please let me know. And if you don't notice a difference, please lie. The topic of today has a little bit more nuance than you might expect. I know the title of this video is really cut and dry, but I'm actually not here to tell anybody what to do. Instead, I'm going to be doing my best to inform you about the risks associated with feeding pigeons bread. I'm also going to be talking about arguments in favor of feeding pigeons bread. After that, I'll be sharing some alternatives to bread that you can feed the pigeons instead. This video, like most of my content, is going to be centered around pigeons. Hi, this is Kettle, as I was talking about before. She's decided to join us. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, this video is going to be mostly centered around pigeons, but a lot of the information that I'm gonna be talking about can be applied to other birds as well. So with introductions and explanations aside, let's get started. When food is eaten by a bird or any living creature, it uses the nutrients from that food to sustain itself. The more nutrients a food has, the more useful it is to the creature that consumes it. Unfortunately, bread lacks a lot of the nutrients that a bird needs to be healthy. It lacks things like protein, fats, and vitamins and minerals. Sure, the birds may enjoy eating bread, but it's not really helping them. To compare it to humans, take chips and ice cream for example. Those both taste really, really good, but if you were to eat just chips and ice cream every single day, you would get very sick eventually. You can't live off of junk food alone. Bread lacking nutrients isn't the only way it contributes to bird malnutrition. When a pigeon eats bread, it's filling its stomach with things that don't really benefit it. This brings up the issue of opportunity cost. If the term opportunity cost is new to you, don't worry, I'm going to do my best to explain it. By definition, opportunity cost is the loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. To explain this in terms of money, let's pretend that we have $10. We want to buy Labyrinth on DVD and a bag of chips, but we can only afford one. If you choose to buy the DVD, you can't buy the chips. The opportunity cost is the bag of chips that you didn't get because you decided to buy the DVD. Hopefully that makes sense. Getting back to pigeons, by feeding them bread, you're filling up their stomachs with food that doesn't help them. Because they feel full from the bread, they're not going to seek out food that's more nutrient rich. The space in their stomach that could be used for healthy food is instead being filled with carb loaded bread. That is the opportunity cost and it's also how an animal can become malnourished despite having a full stomach. Bread can create danger that goes beyond malnutrition. One of the most prominent issues with bread is that birds have a lot of difficulty digesting it. Especially with white bread, factors like ingredients and texture can make it really hard for a bird to break down. Most bread products contain milk, sugar, and salt. A lot of salt. And those ingredients are really difficult for a bird's body to break down. If you recall Kettle's birthday video, I made her a cake out of cornbread. The cornbread that I made didn't have any milk, sugar, or added salt. Despite it not having those ingredients, cornbread still isn't a food that I would want Kettle to have in her everyday diet. Bread also has the tendency to go bad pretty quickly under poor conditions. Unfortunately, moldy bread is a really easy way for a bird to get sick. There's a common misconception that animals can handle moldy, rotten food because, well, they're animals. But just like humans, animals can get sick from food that's exceeded a certain threshold of rottenness. There's an argument to be had in defense of feeding pigeons bread, or at least in favor of the idea that it may not be as harmful as some people think. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna bring up a few arguments people have in favor of feeding pigeons bread, and I'm gonna do my best to expose the nuance of each topic. This isn't necessarily a black and white issue, so I'm gonna do my best to represent each opinion with the same thoroughness. The first argument is that pigeons are starving and that something is better than nothing. A piece of bread may not be the best source of food for a pigeon, but it may be enough to get them to their next meal. Your nails hurt. Okay. She loves to mess up my hair. <laughs> this argument definitely has weight to it. A pigeon that would otherwise go without any food source is definitely better off with bread than nothing. There's also the argument that eating a pigeon bread wouldn't inhibit their ability to find food elsewhere because they're never really eating enough to fill their stomachs completely. Those who disagree with this argument point to the issues caused by malnutrition especially in younger birds. Birds can face growth abnormalities and a low quality of life when they're given food that's insufficient. 
I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with her on my head. I give up. She wants to be on my head and it hurts, but this is, this is my life now. Some people who feed birds, whether it be seed or otherwise, feel that bread is okay as long as it's in moderation. Bread isn't really meant to make up an entire diet. But this argument suggests that it doesn't hurt a bird- I cannot focus with her on my head. But this argument suggests that it's okay for a bird to have bread as a supplement to their already existing diets. Typically, arguments against this point to the fact that it's hard to know what a wild bird's diet is like. It's hard to know how much they've already eaten and how much of that was human junk food. It's also not uncommon for people to have a blended opinion, encouraging frequent feeders to give birds healthy food, while also believing that giving birds the occasional uneaten piece of bread or muffin isn't at all unreasonable or unkind. I don't know why she wants to be on my head so bad today. She usually likes to be on my shoulder, but hopefully it's entertaining for you guys, because it's painful for me. Now that we've discussed why bread might not be something you want to feed your neighborhood pigeons, we can go over some of the alternatives that you can feed them instead. Let's start with the most obvious option, seed. Seed can be bought in a variety of ways, but one of the easiest is in bulk from supply stores. If you live in the United States, places like Home Depot and Menards sell seed in bulk, similar to the huge bags of dog food that you can buy at pet stores. Safflower seed is a common favorite among pigeons, so I recommend it as a healthier option for feeding the feral. Safflower seed also happens to be really fatty, so it's a good option for pigeons that need to bulk up a bit. Besides bird seed, there are other options that make good food for pigeons, and a lot of them can be found at the grocery store. For example, unsalted peanuts make a great snack for pigeons. They're also likely to enjoy raw lentils, raw peas, raw red milo, raw mung beans, and raw corn. Rice is another option you can feed pigeons, though it is one of the less nutritious options on this list. It's still better than bread though. All of the options I just listed are healthier alternatives to bread, and they're also going to benefit the birds that you're feeding. It's also much cheaper to feed pigeons these options than it is to feed them bread. Consider that a little bonus to the fact that you'll be providing pigeons with a healthy meal. Instead of just sitting here, or I guess standing here, let's go and actually feed the pigeons. Today, the pigeons are going to be getting a lot of different things. What we're essentially going to be doing is making our own seed mix. I did not get this idea myself. I'm actually copying somebody by the name of Ohai on the Companion Pigeon Chat Discord server. They also helped me create my last video. Today, we're going to be heading to the grocery store to get some of the alternatives that I talked about. Then we're gonna mix up everything that we got from the store into a big bowl. It'll be like a fruit salad minus the fruit. But first, we have to go and buy our ingredients. Now that we have all these yummy seeds and such, we can mix them all together. By the way, I'm outside because I do not want to spill these seeds on my floor. First up is lentils. I actually enjoy lentils myself, so if these weren't going to be eaten by the pigeons, they would probably get eaten by me. Fun fact, did you know that there's like a million ways to prepare lentils? I only know how to cook them one way, but apparently there's other ways to make them other than making soup. Next we have split green peas. If I'm not mistaken, these are what people use to make split pea soup. I should probably know this. I'm quite a big fan of soups. Next, we have whole green peas. I'm pretty sure Kettle would devour these if she was given the chance. And that is why I'm glad I did this outside. Her favorite seeds are pea, red milo, and safflower. Safflower is probably the favorite of every pigeon I've ever met. I wish I had some to add to this mix, but I guess I'll just have to use it as an excuse to feed the pigeons again sometime. Now we're going to add even more lentils. These happen to be a pretty color. I really hope the pigeons are as much a fan of them as I am. The last thing we're going to be adding is seed mix. This isn't just any bird seed though. Today's video is sponsored by NetView, a company that is well known for their camera bird feeders, bird houses, and other camera devices. Recently, they came out with their own bird seed that can be used to help attract wildlife to your backyard feeders. NetView's bird feeders are great for people who don't have the time to sit outside and wait for the birds to come around to eat. NetView's bird feeders have a motion-activated camera that records the birds even while you're away. It's also great for when you can watch the pigeons live, but want to get a closer look at them. 
They have different designs of bird feeders to suit your specific needs and tastes, including designs made of bamboo and feeders that are specifically created for hummingbirds. They even have a design that lets you see two different angles of the birds you're feeding. Are you kidding me? Whether you're a seasoned bird watcher or just starting out, NetView has basically everything you need to make your home a safe haven for birds. NetView is offering my followers a discount on all of their products. That way you can get your bird sanctuary set up at a reduced price. The link to their website will be in my link tree and that's also where you'll find the coupon code. You can use that coupon code to get 15% off of your purchase. Thank you NetView for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to making the pigeons their food. Now that we have all of our different food options in this bowl, it's time to mix it up. I got a stick because it seems like it would be fun to mix with a stick. I've given up on the stick. I'm just gonna go in with my hands. Now that we have this mixed up pretty evenly, I'm going to try to get it all into this bag. I feel like I could have probably done this a better way, but that's okay. One of the stray cats has decided to pay us a visit today. Everyone say hi to Jack. He's a very good boy. One of the friendliest strays I think I've ever met. If you think he's cute, let him know in the comments. He can't actually read, but I can. I'll pass on your good vibes in the form of belly rubs. Now that we have our bird food mixed up and ready to go, let's go feed some pigeons. This honestly had to be fate. While I was feeding the pigeons, another person came along and started feeding them too. I asked him if he was okay with being on camera and he agreed. He was really, really nice, so please show him some love in the comments. I never got his name, so maybe you can all give him a cool nickname in the comments. He was honestly really, really awesome. And he didn't just feed the pigeons, he also gave them water. I honestly never even thought to give the pigeons water, but they went crazy for it. The container that's on screen right now was at one point filled to the brim. By the time I left, it was completely empty. If you want me to ever feed the pigeons again, please let me know in the comments because this was really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button or subscribing to my channel. I'm honestly really curious what people think about this topic, so leave your thoughts on feeding pigeons bread in the comments. If there's another bird topic you'd like me to discuss, you can also suggest that in the comments. If you'd like to see more of me and Kettle in between uploads, I have other social media accounts that I post to daily. If you'd like to support my channel, I have a Patreon that I also post to daily. You can make a monthly donation on my Patreon that'll give you exclusive perks like reading my scripts early, seeing clips of my videos before they're uploaded, and having VPI access to my Discord server. The link to my Patreon and my social media will be in the description of this video. It's also in my link tree, which is also in my description. Thank you, Kettle. I love it when you do my hair. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye!